In the previous video, we saw a geometric proof of the harmonic, geometric, arithmetic, and quadratic mean inequality chain. And in this video, we'll prove the same result, but algebraically. So let's remind ourselves of what the result was. It said that if A and B are non-negative real numbers, that's what this symbol here means, we have the real number set, and then we're just restricting that to the non-negative real, so that includes zero then this quantity, the harmonic mean, is less than or equal to the geometric mean, which is less than or equal to the arithmetic mean, which is less than or equal to the quadratic mean. Now, if we wanted to prove this inequality chain here, we really only have to prove three inequalities. The first is between the geometric and the arithmetic mean. Then we could prove the harmonic and geometric mean inequality. And then we could prove the geometric, uh, sorry, the arithmetic, arithmetic and quadratic mean inequality. Okay, and we're going to start with the first one, the arithmetic and geometric mean, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the proof of the other two requires the use of the arithmetic geometric mean. And secondly, because in the HSC syllabus, the inequality that's specifically stated is the inequality between the arithmetic and the geometric mean. You're required to be able to prove it and use it. In, uh, in questions. Okay, so this one really is the most important one between the arithmetic and the geometric mean. Okay, so let's start with a proof of what we've labeled as one. Now, what's really important when we're dealing with inequalities is understanding what kind of numbers our variables are. And in this case, our variables a and b, they are non-negative real numbers, so zero and above. Now, we're going to set up something using the fact that we're dealing with non-negative real numbers. So the first thing I'm going to say is since A and B are non-negative reals, then if I take their square root, I will end up with non-negative reals as well. Okay. Um, firstly, the square root is going to be real because A and B are not negative. If they were negative, they would be imaginary but they're real, which is great. And we also get this extra bit of information that they're actually going to be positive reals because the square root symbol is always defined as the positive square root, or in a more general case, it's always the principal square root. But in, in this case, the principal square root here just means the positive square root. So actually we don't really care that they're positive, but it's just an extra bit of information. What we do care is that the square root of A and the square root of B are real numbers. And why is that important? Because that means if I take the difference of the two, I will end up with a real number. Now, I can't say if this is positive or negative because I don't know which of these two is larger, but I do know for sure that if I subtract two real numbers, I still have a real number. Now, this is important because now I can use the fact that if I square any real number, I know I'm going to get something that is non-negative. I'll get something that's greater than or equal to zero. So now I can just expand out this binomial, I'll end up with a minus 2 root a root b plus b greater than or equal to 0. I'll move that middle term over to the left hand side. a plus b is greater than or equal to 2. I might as well combine these two square roots into one square root. So 2 times root a b. And then I'll divide by 2 and get a plus b on 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of a b. And so there we've proved our AMGM inequality. The arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean, and that concludes the proof of the first inequality. Now to prove the second inequality, like we said, we're going to have to use the result that we just uh, established, which is the result of the AMGM inequality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say from part one, or from one, because now I can quote this because I've proven it, we have that a plus b on 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of ab. And once again, like I said earlier, it's always really important with inequalities to understand what kind of numbers your variables can be. And here we're dealing with our variables being non-negative real numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a very common technique um, that's applied when solving inequalities is we take something that's much simpler, we can prove something that's much simpler, and then we do what's called a remapping, a remapping of our variables. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 
our variable a, and we're going to remap a to one on a. And this is the symbol that we use for a remapping. It's just an arrow with a, like a vertical bar um, at the end of it. So I'm taking A and I'm remapping it to one on A, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for B. I take B and I remap that to one on B. Now it's really important that when we do our remappings, our remappings preserve or respect the condition that is on our variables in our original inequality. So in our original inequality here, we said that A and B had to be non-negative. And here, this needs to preserve the exact same thing. So if I'm taking A and replacing it with one on A, well, if A is positive, then one on A is positive. So that's okay. And if B is positive, one on B is positive. So that's good. That means that these numbers here are going to be positive numbers, positive real numbers. And that's fine. If they're positive real numbers, then we can apply the AMGM inequality to those positive real numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So A now becomes one on A, B becomes one on B, divided by two is greater than or equal to, uh, let's see, the square root of one on A times one on B. Okay, now what we need to do is just try to tidy this up a little bit. So I'm going to make one denominator, or rather one fraction on the left-hand side. So that's going to become B plus A over AB, all over two, that's greater than or equal to, and on the right-hand side, I've got one over the square root of AB. On my left-hand side, I can tidy that up just a little bit more. That's B plus A over two AB, and that's greater than or equal to one on root AB. And then if I just reciprocate both sides, I get two AB divided by, I suppose I can write B plus A is A plus B, I've reciprocated, which means I need to change the direction of my inequality sign. So that's less than or equal to the square root of AB. And so we arrive at what we wanted. This is our harmonic mean. This is our geometric mean. Okay, and that proves the second part of the inequality chain. Now for the third inequality, we want to prove that the arithmetic mean is less than or equal to the quadratic mean. So I'm going to write down, down here what it is exactly that we want to prove. We want to prove that a plus b on two is less than or equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared on two. Okay, let's make a bit of room. Now, it might seem a bit obscure as to how to proceed in order or where to start in order to prove this sort of inequality. Um, but what we can do is we can try to manipulate our target inequality and find an equivalent inequality that makes things a little bit easier for us. So for example here, I know that both sides of my inequality are positive. And if both sides of my inequality are positive, then it's fair game for me to square both sides and I would end up with something that's equivalent to what I'm trying to prove. So I'm actually going to do that. This inequality is equivalent to trying to prove a plus b on two, all squared, is less than or equal to a squared plus b squared on two. And so perhaps looking at this inequality gives us a bit more of an idea of where to start. Maybe we can consider thinking about the left-hand side um, because it's something squared and then doing, doing some work with that, okay? So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say consider a plus b on two, all squared, and I'm just gonna expand it out as a binomial. It's gonna be a squared plus two ab plus b squared, all divided by four. Okay, now I'm trying to end up, or I'm trying to aim to end up showing that this is less than or equal to this. And it would be really nice if I could use the AMGM. So what does the AMGM tell me? It tells me, I'm gonna write here, from the AMGM, or let's say from one, because it was the first result, we had that A plus B on two was greater than or equal to the square root of AB. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another remapping like I did above, and I'm going to say remap A, and I'm going to replace that with A squared, and B, I'm going to replace that with B squared. Once again, remembering to check that this remapping preserves my conditions on, or the conditions that I have on my variables, and this does. A squared will never be negative, and B squared will never be, whoops, B squared will never be negative. Don't know why that disappeared. That should be B squared there. So both of those will never be negative, which means it's fine to make this remapping. And so then I get A squared plus B squared on two is greater than or equal to the square root of A squared B squared. But the square root of A squared B squared, we know what that is. That's AB, and I'm just gonna multiply the two up in order to get A squared plus B squared is greater than or equal to two AB. Now this looks really useful. I'm gonna actually call this star. This looks really useful because now I can use it to replace two AB with something that is larger than it. So what have I got? I've got a plus b on two, all squared, is equal to a squared plus two ab plus b squared, all divided by four. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this term, the two ab term, and I'm going to replace it with something that's larger than it, which means that this is smaller than what I'm going to write next. Okay, that means that this is less than or equal to a squared plus now I replace it with this a squared plus b squared plus the b squared. I'm going to highlight this a squared b squared just so you can see very clearly where the inequality is coming from. This is divided by 4. Okay, what's next? Well, I've got two a squareds on the top and two b squareds on the top. So this is equal to 2a squared plus b squared divided by 4 which is equal to a squared plus b squared divided by two. Okay, so I've got a plus b on two all squared is less than or equal to a squared plus b squared on two. And then I can take the square root of both sides, the positive square root of both sides, and I end up with the desired inequality that I wanted. Okay. And actually, basically here, we know that we're finished because we found that that was an equivalent, if we go back up here, we found that that was an equivalent uh, inequality to proof. Okay, but you might as well write that last, last final step. Okay, and that concludes the proof of the third one. And since all three inequalities have been proven, we've now proven that chain of inequalities. And that's the end of the algebraic proof of the harmonic mean, geometric mean, arithmetic mean, and quadratic mean inequality chain.